Everything had happened so fast. The mutiny, the struggle to survive, the arrival of the British soldiers, and finding that there was no treasure. You see, it was that discovery that completely changed the course of everything. We were already upset about what had happened with the treasure, and I had tried to help Jojo and the girls. Going back to England would have been a disaster for them, and I didn't know what to do. But then Ben warned us that Governor Blade and the murderer Shadow were both waiting and planning to attack me. Before we could realize what was happening, we had become fugitives, running for our lives. What we didn't know was that there was a far greater threat looming over us all. A threat we could not imagine. Princess and Ben's boat. How pretty! <laughs> wow, I still can't believe we're getting away! No, children are not safe yet. They're still coming from the forest. Tracy, we need your help too. Use your hands, row! Don't look back. Keep rowing. Keep rowing. That's who's chasing us? The pirates? How can that be? There's so many of them. Did the soldiers not find them? We're close to the ship. We have to keep going. Huh? We have to fight him, all together. I just wanted to stop him. He's alive. Huh? No. Ugly! Huh? Ben Gunn huh? doesn't want to see. Let's spread out. We gotta surround him. We'll confuse him. Huh. Hey, Ugly! Over here! Look at me, you monster! No! Catch uh... me if you can! I've got him! Now! <clears throat> the others are still coming. All hands on deck! Jojo, help me pull up the anchor. Tracy, the sails! Now you guys have to keep the bow of the ship pointing toward the open sea. Looks like we made it! Yeah! We're too late. They've already taken off, and they were able to open most of the sails. They seem to have picked up speed. We're going to have to chase them all day. Unless the wind were to die down by sunset, that is, and slow them down. Let them go. There's no need to waste that much time. No, we can't just abandon them. 
They're inexperienced. Soon they will be intercepted by my frigates that crossed into the west. And then, I will have their ship sent back to Jamaica. There are more important issues that I would like to discuss with you. But we'll talk at dinner, in my home back at Port Royal. A real dinner in a real palace? Oh, Lord Blade, how you tease. Invitation accepted. I understand you. You want Hawkins back and I want my ship returned. But I trust Blade. He's proven to be a good commander. All the men on that island are dead. And there is someone else involved in all of this. Just wait. Soon I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hmm. An unexpected visit. What brings you, Doctor? No time for games, Silver. You know you might face the gallows. Nothing I wasn't aware of when I decided to join this crew. Well, forgive me, but I didn't come here for you. I came for Jim. He's a good lad. A bit stubborn at times, but as straight as the mast. He got away with the other kids from the Hispaniola. Any idea where they might try to go? If I knew, I'd tell you. I don't like that he's out there in the middle of a sea full of evil people, including the governor. <laughs> the squire and I will do our best to make sure you have a fair trial. I appreciate the thought, but my hopes aren't high. But whatever happens, I know that Jim is lucky to have a man like you watching him. Keep an eye on the boy when you can, sir. Looks like Blade's frigate is gone. He must have given up the chase. We did it. We outran every one of them. I don't understand, though. I thought that Governor Blade sent those Marines to wipe out the pirates. Yes, I thought so, too. But when they were chasing us, it looked like they were all there. Isn't that strange to you guys, too? <sighs> what were they doing? Shooting the trees for a sport? The Governor and that murderer must have secret plan of some kind. Maybe hunting down the pirates was just a big trick. But how could uh -huh. they? I know those soldiers obeyed orders and shot those pirates, but then, I don't know how, but it's like, uh, somebody resurrected them. Huh? Jojo, I'm sorry, but did you drink too much seawater? I know this is gonna be hard for you to believe, but not a single one of those pirates was alive, and yet none of them were dead. There's only one explanation I can think of. Those huh? pirates were zombies. Yes, very bad. Ah, uh, very bad. Uh what did you just call them? What my people always used to call them. Zombies, the living dead, or undead. <laughs> I see. These were a few ghost stories you heard in bed at night when you were a child, weren't they? White people can't understand the black magic of legend, but that magic exists and those pirates look like zombies. Not even one of our blows affected them. And didn't you notice that glow in their eyes, that white and lifeless look that they had? It's true. I saw it. They all had that weird look to them. Dr. Livesey, he told me about this magic. It's a thousand years old and a long-standing tradition. Good thing someone understands me. But a tradition can sometimes just be a legend and... Well, you see, Jojo, what you're saying is just impossible. What? It's pointless to talk to you guys, you blockheads. He'll be okay. So other than that, to where exactly should we set sail? I do actually have an idea in my mind, but I don't know. It's crazy, but it might be a surprise move. I think that we should go to Jamaica. You want to go straight to the governor's port? I get it. Uh, That's where they're taking Long John Silver, and you want to go free him, am I right? That's exactly what I was thinking. No one is going to expect us to be there, and if we can sneak Long John on board... We'll have someone who can captain this ship to the ends of the Earth. But how can we trust him? I don't know. But as much of a traitor as he was, I can't bear to think of him ending up at the gallows. I just can't let that happen. Me neither. Then it's all said. We're off to free Long John. Come on, set sail for Jamaica. Upon hearing the prosecution and defense, the defendant is found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. Hanging? Huh? I protest! This is too severe a punishment for this man. As someone who confessed to his crimes, Silver deserves some kind of deal. Are you suggesting that my own court does not know how to administer the law? No, uh, we just wanted Pirates to- Pirates are beyond redemption, my lord. You cannot show weakness with these thieves. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. A 
ship cannot sail without a captain. We've got to do what pirates do and elect ourselves. I vote for Jim. Oh, big surprise. With those eyes you keep making. Shh. Hmm. Ben is dead, but if Ben were alive, Ben would pick Jim for captain too. Well, they're right. A free election is the best way to figure this out. So who are the two of you going to vote for? I'm the daughter of a sea captain. I know the sea better than anyone else, and I was Long John's best student, but I can't vote for myself. That's all right. Think about it. How will you vote, Jim? Well, Tracy's right. She has good character and the right skills. I'm okay, but I vote for Tracy. Ah, so now we're two for Jim and one for me. In that case, I vote for Jojo. That was a nice move, Tracy. So there's three names, and she is clearly the best sailor on this ship. I, on the other hand, am terrible with the sails and rudders, so that gives the other two candidates a clear advantage. Now let's consider our friend Jim. Jim has been just, loyal, and generous this whole time, so that's why I think he deserves to be elected our captain. Oh. Don't bother saying anything. I know how it all goes. Why is it men who get all the privileges? Tracy, I'm not looking for any special privileges. Don't worry. You've been elected, and I will follow your orders, because I'm a Stanton, and I know my duty, and I will give it my all. Oh, thank you. Huh? I just couldn't do it without you. Hmm. Then it's official. Hmm. I'll fearlessly lead all my friends to the end of the world. Oh. <laughs> it's supposed to get even worse. I hope Jim is safe right now. I can't believe I put his life at risk just to find the Codex Indicus. I'm curious, Doctor. You went on this harrowing adventure, not for any gold, but for a simple book? Is it really that valuable? It's beyond valuable. It was rumored to be with Flint's treasure, and thankfully, it was there too. Oh, good. That treasure doesn't matter when you can earn more than your share of gold by selling that book to the highest bidder. Very smart, Doctor. No, I won't sell it. The Codex is a collection of ancient traditions that were compiled by the first Spanish missionaries. Without it, Never the again. wisdom of the indigenous peoples would be lost forever. Ancient traditions and wisdom. That's very interesting. I never would have guessed. But now, won't you take your seat? Dinner is now served. Excellent dinner, Lord Blade, and a delightful conversation. But I think it's about time we talked about more serious matters. I agree, and I have a topic of my own I would like to bring up. I think that we should be more aggressive in dealing with our situation with pirates. Well said. They're a curse upon our seas. They're like animals, and they've proven their raids are not only a crisis for our businesses, but they also affect the further development of our civilization. But gentlemen... I now have a plan to stop this. Pirates attack all ocean routes, but the most vulnerable routes are in the Caribbean. So I was thinking, why are all the nations of Europe fighting each other? Why don't they unify for a common cause and join us down here in the ultimate fight for our survival? Imagine if England, Spain, Portugal, France, and Holland combined all of their military forces to clean up the seas for good. Together we can wipe out this pirate threat once and for all. Imagine the peace and prosperity that would come from this action. Forgive me, gentlemen, but you see, sometimes my passion can get the better of me. No. Sir, it's admirable. It's quite ambitious. How will you get the kings to cooperate? Yes, I'm sure it will arouse hostility, especially since our own court has been reluctant to form alliances. I'll need help there the most. Since I am returning to England, why not just send me to deliver Lord Blade's message to the court? No treasure, but at least this journey was good for something. Gentlemen, I was hoping that you would agree to help. And now, I am even more confident that this project will be a success. Doctor, it looks to me like you're unconvinced. Forgive me. I'm thinking about Jim. 
That boy is my responsibility. I made a promise to his dear mother. I need to bring him home. I'm sure that you will find the boy safe and sound. But for now, let's toast the mission in hopes that it will bring peace and prosperity to the entire world. To, to the, the mission! mission! I will write to you soon to keep you updated. I shall eagerly await your message. Please be careful, my friend. I hope you safely return to London. Mm. Well, we've avoided the sharp rocks. Ben Gunn thinks it should be safe for us to drop anchor here. We need to find Silver as quick as we can. Ben's ghost will stay on the ship and frighten away anyone who tries to steal it from us. Flint can keep you company. Now let's hurry. We don't even have one minute to lose. I sense your unease, human. You must learn to be patient. Soon all your enemies will be vanquished, and your revenge will be complete. Yes, I know, but Silver must be punished even more. The man has wounded both my physical body and even my pride. I want to be the one who truly brings about his destruction. I want him to look me in the eye and recognize who I am right as he's about to leave this world. Very well. But your assassin has been listening from behind the door. I think it's time that he knows the truth. Yes, it is time you know who I am. Who is this hiding in Governor Blade's body? I'm Captain Joshua Flint, captain of the Walrus pirate ship, not quite dead. Long John Silver was the one who put a bullet in my chest. And he left me for dead. That demon you saw is the reason I'm still alive. He serves me, and I am forever chained to his limitless power! It could still be broken. Within every chain, there lies a weak link. I'm glad you feel that way, because I think I found one. Dr. Livesey made me realize that the book he cares about so much could be of some use to us. He spoke of ancient traditions, perhaps magic. See if you can't take it from him. Then we'll see what we can do. to find a way to get into the building, but there are soldiers everywhere. Hey you, help me take this stuff off this wagon. Do what he says. It's our best opportunity to get in. We can't say no and miss our chance. Look at this mess you've made all over my floor, and I'm too busy, so you'll have to clean it. What? Now get to work. Stay calm, Jojo. Just keep looking for Silver. You're our only chance to find him. make ourselves a good mug of hot rum. Uh -huh. Let's light the fire! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> oh! The governor's laptop! 
Are you going to try to beat a few secrets out of me under torture? You can torture me all you want, but I assure you, I have no more secrets than... Ah! 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 No torture. Ah! Someone just wants the treasure of watching you get dragged to the gallows like garbage before you breathe your last. No! Huh? That was Long John. I'm sure I heard his voice. You little liar! Not only did you not clean my floor, but now I catch you sneaking! Enough! Get out! And don't let me catch you in my kitchen ever again! Well, did you find where they're keeping him? Yeah, Long John's down there, but there's guards everywhere! And those walls look terribly thick! How are we supposed to get in there? Huh? Can you think of anything? Huh? I can think of just one word, and that word is boom. We really need a good distraction. Leave it to the Stanton sisters. Come on, huh? get ready, Lynn. Huh? Huh? A thief! A thief! Help! Help! What happened? Why are you screaming? Well, well, someone has attacked and robbed us. They ran over there. I think there was a hundred of them. She means he's as strong as a hundred mules. Huh? 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 Did you huh? find him? No, ma'am, but you're both safe now. Are you sure? He was big, ugly, and dangerous. He took all our money and jewelry, laughed at us, made us feel bad, and I think he ran in that direction there. Well, did he run this way or that way? At first there, then there. And... Do you think you can get away from me? You think you're always so cunning and smart. I have absolutely no interest in risking it. Forget Huracan, the squire, and the rest of them. I'll finish him myself with a bullet in his heart. His cell should be right over there. The trick to this is figuring out how much gunpowder we should really use. We don't want to kill Long John while we're trying to save him. According to my father, a gun takes 20 pounds of gunpowder. I remember that well. That's not it. Dad said that you only needed two pounds of powder for a cannon. And just what makes you so sure? Hm. Well, if you have 20 cannons, then maybe you need at least 10 times as much to blow up a wall, right? 200 pounds? Really that much? There might not even be a building over there. So I say we use an entire 50 pound barrel and let's hope that's enough. You won't listen to me, but I'm telling you, I remember. Two pounds for each gun, two sockets for my pipe. Dad said that. I'm sure of it. Two pounds, two sockets. Lynn is right. I remember that saying. Two and not twenty. But that means that... Huh? Huh? I knew it. I knew it! Jim! Jim! Where are you? I'm okay. Come on! Long John! Long John! Huh? Ha! Huh. You're alive! In the name of Neptune! You! Just what are you doing here? Trying to put me in the ground before they do? No, we've come to free you and take you to safety, you crazy rogue. We couldn't just sit by and do nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't expecting a way out of this. But you're much crazier than I ever thought you were. Yeah, and I'm much crazier than I thought, too. The pirate.